PE today, we are going to use household items to practice a variety of different skills. All you're going to need is something to throw with and something to throw into. Here are some examples of something to throw into. Laundry basket, a small storage bin, or a shoebox. Here are some examples of things to throw with. Roll of toilet paper, small plush toy, rolled up handkerchief, rolled up gloves, or rolled up socks. Remember, the smaller the target, the harder it's going to be. So for today, I'm going to use a pair of rolled up socks and my medium sized bucket. I've moved all of my stuff off to the side. We'll get a quick warm up stretch in. Feet together, hands by your sides. Breathe in, bringing your arms up overhead, reaching to the sky. Exhale, arms come back down by our sides. Breathe in, arms overhead. Stop here, reaching high to the sky. Small bend to the left. Back to center, small bend to the right. Back to center, slight back bend, looking up towards your hands, very small range of motion. Back to center, and exhale, forward bend, straight down towards your toes. forward bend. Stop in the center. Slowly rise to standing. Arms overhead. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale. Hands by your sides. Awesome job. Now we're ready for our exercise. It's five minutes of fitness. We're doing 40 seconds of hard work with 20 second rest in between each exercise. Here we go. Our first exercise is a side to side toe tap. And then we'll bring our arms up and together each time. Go. Big steps, side to side. Open those arms and close those arms. Warming up every muscle in our body. Quick feet. 20 seconds left here. Good job. Keep those core muscles nice and tight. Keep those arms up. And relax. 20 second rest and then we'll go straight in to our jogging in place. 10 seconds to go. Let your heart rate come down, catch your breath, and get ready. Here comes 40 seconds. Jog in place. Go. Don't let your heels touch the floor. Rest. 10 seconds left to rest. 
chest. We're going straight into jumping jacks. Start with your hands by your sides, feet together. Ready? Begin. Try to keep those arms nice and strong and straight. Bringing them up as high as you can. Those feet jump out and in nice and big. Less than 10 seconds, way to go. Next warm-up exercise is going to be a seal jack. It's much like what we just did, except our hands come to a T and then to a straight. T and straight. We have two seconds. Ready? Hands together, feet together. Out and in. Great job. Stay on those toes. Don't let your heels touch the ground. Less than 20 seconds to go. Keep those arms nice and straight. And rest. Our last exercise We'll do scissor jumps, punching those arms up to the sky. Ready? Go. our target. Make sure your knees, your hips, and your chest are facing the direction that you're shooting. I'm going to hold my target in one hand and then place my opposite hand behind my back so it doesn't get in the way. My arm holding the ball is at a 90 degree angle. Elbow bent, ball resting, on my hand. When I shoot, I straighten my arm and I snap my wrist to put my hand inside the cookie jar. I go from my 90 degree angle, elbow bent, to a straight arm, flick my wrist. Here we go. We're starting our first round with our right hand and then we'll do our second round with our opposite hand practicing that same form. Notice that my basket is further away than it was last week. We're doing one minute, counting how many times we can make our socks into our bucket. And remember, since we're using just one sock, I have to hustle around to get my sock out of the bucket. And then, back to start, to shoot again. We'll start with our right hand, knees bent, chest facing our target, one minute. Ready? Go.
switching it up, going to our other hand. If you just shot with your right hand, now you're shooting with your left. Really focus on that same form. 90 degree arm to a straight arm. Snap your wrist to put your hand in the cookie jar. Bend those knees and keep your entire body facing your target. One minute, count how many you can make. Ready, go. back to our right hand and we're mixing it up, making it a little bit more complicated. I'm staying on my right hand, but before I shoot, I'm going to go around my waist with the ball and then shoot my shot. Every time I come back, I start my around the waist once my feet are planted and then I shoot. One minute, Count how many you can make. Go. Around and then shoot. Around and then shoot. Around the waist and then shoot. One. Around my waist and then shoot. Bend your knees. I'm holding my item 
in both hands, looking through my legs at my target, and I'm going to lift my hands off the ground, straight towards my target, both hands together, releasing the ball right towards my bucket. We'll do this for a full minute of practice. Remember, once you shoot, you've got to collect your item and come back to start, feet spread, knees bent, hands together. One minute, get in position, go. demonstrated. I didn't make any throughout that whole minute, but I had fun trying. Nicely done. Now get ready for our cool down. Meet me in a corpse pose. Alright friends, we are in a corpse pose. Legs are straight. Hands are by our sides. Palms facing towards the sky or the ceiling. Breathing here, relaxing, letting our heart rate come back down. Inhale and bring your hands straight overhead, reaching long, stretching through your fingertips, pulling in both directions from your feet through your hands. Lengthening your entire body. Oh. And exhale. Bring your hands back to your sides. Bring your right knee up towards your chest. Grabbing below your knee on your right shin. And hug your knee to your chest. Keeping your left leg long. Left leg straight. Right knee to your chest. Hug it nice and close. Feel your hamstrings stretching. Release and switch legs. My right leg goes straight. Nice and long and lengthening. My left knee is bent. Knee hugs to chest. My hands holding below my knee on my shin. Pull that knee in nice and tight and release. Legs out straight. Hands by your side. Let's bring the bottom of our feet to touch. Knees out to the side. Reclining butterfly pose. Let your knees sink closer and closer to the floor. Opening up all the muscles in your lower body. And in your hips. When you're ready, meet me in a seated butterfly stretch. 
roll your shoulders back gently. Lift your back and your spine. Push those knees down towards the floor. And we are all done for today. Great job. I'll see you next week.